Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Play of the Day Roundup. I'm calling it the Roundup today because there's actually two really, really, really nice trades today. Uh, really nice way to end the week, actually, <laughs> before a fantastic Kentucky Derby weekend. So lots of fun things going on this weekend. Let's get going here with the Roundup. So B Corp was a nice gap here today. Look at this thing. And, and interestingly enough, this had gapped down previously in February, and it didn't work. This actually didn't work as a bearish gap back here on February 18th. But today, it here it did. It did the thing. It did everything right. It rated very well. Actually, it rated extremely well. And, and I did it. I actually did two things today, which I don't always do. And at the same time, nonetheless. So the entry was right in here. Stop over the high of the day, rally back. You could have taken a second entry. You could have done an ad in here. I like to do that very often, but since it was in something already, I didn't, I didn't do the ad. But you could have had a chance to get more. Dropped all the way down. Actually, this was the target. This was the target of the day. It was actually 1668. I had the target written down. It got to within three cents of it. And that was it. Then it was it was done. And it could have halted at 17, okay? But it went right to the target within the first reversal time into 945. And that was it. Now, this could have reset up again, okay, and continued because there's a much, much larger target in this in the long-term daily chart, but it's not going to make it there today. This, this set up in the 5 and failed. Flipped up here, set up again in the 5. It's getting late. It's 11.20 and just made so much money so quickly today, so fast. I just took everything off into the first drops and I was out and I didn't want to do anything else after that. And there's just no reason to and it's a Friday. And you want to end the day really early on a Friday. I think I was out of everything today by 9.45. I was, I was in two trades and out of everything by the first 15 minutes, literally. Great day. Love that. Love to trade like that. I just love to trade like that every day I can. Anyways, uh, so basically, this did go to the target immediately. Boy, that's really, now looking at this to see that, that, that was the target, 1668. And it went right there in the, in the first whole move. It's, you know, you just, you don't get that all the time, but every once in a while you do. And why did you, why did this go right to the target? It was a great gap. It was a great, great gap. Now, it, you know, I think the market's very bullish now today, and it's Friday, okay? And because the market is bullish here, I don't think that this is going to continue. But, you know, it could. Let's just take a look here at the QQQs. And then I'll go to the next play. Well, this market's tough. This market is really tough. It's trying to come in, but it's not. It's trying to go higher, but it's not. Yeah, B Corps is definitely done here today. So, uh, you know, if you want to trade all day, the next reversal time to watch this would be 2 o'clock. But I actually think if this was going to break lower today, this uh, setup here on the 15 would have followed through, and instead it didn't. Close with the body and tail and the green body. It's still valid as long as it doesn't go over this area. But if this goes over 1750, that's it. The rally back here was big. This bounce was big. I don't, I don't like the fact that this didn't continue here this afternoon to keep going down lower. But actually, this is a watch for Monday. This is a watch for Monday. If this doesn't close and break at a new low here today on Friday, this is a watch for Monday, especially since it pushed back up and rallied like this. If this doesn't get down to the low or break the low by this afternoon, by the close, it's a watch for Monday, definitely. And, and, and a nice uh, possible swing trade on this, too, for a lower target. This is a lot of... A lot of different targets in here, much lower than this. And the gap worked extremely well today. For something to open, break, fall off a planet like that and go right to the target in the morning, that's hard selling. This is hard, uh, fast, quick, immediate selling, kind of like a panic situation. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. So how do I read this? I see it in the gap. I see the gap. I rate the gap. I go through the rating system in the gap. I rate the 26 points. I go through it. And that's why I need to watch this thing to do the setup and to know the numbers, to know the targets, to see, to get the setup. You know, you don't always anticipate something's going to sell off that hard to go right down to the target immediately, but it did. And you can uh, pretty much assume that for really highly rated gaps. So, really, you can, I guess. I just was so surprised today. I was doing so many things at once. All right, here's the SREV. This worked out beautiful today. Beautiful and actually did not get to $4. This looks like this is going to uh, go to $4. Actually, this is setting up, and this is valid, and this is holding here. 14 You can do this right here now. Right here, right now, actually, with stop. Tight, 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 tight stop over 431-ish. 
Only a penny spread here now looks good. This this could actually break four dollars today. Jeez Louise. If it gets down under the low, I think it's gonna break four. I couldn't see anything in this today. Oh, there was the first bar of the day. It was weird. I couldn't see this right on the open, but I did it. I did it 76. Stopped over the high of the day, dropped all the way down again, went to what would have been the dream target down here. Ten cents for the dream target, which is four dollars out. In the reversal time out. Everything ran just off a cliff today after the open. And this, when I saw this thing first thing this morning, I liked it. I liked it almost the best of anything until I saw B Core. And then I said, gosh, these are both like equally very, 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 very good. And they almost did the exact same thing. Set up right away, set up right away, set up right away, and went right at the first setup into the into the target. They both did that. Although this looks like it's breaking again, and B Core is not near the low of the day. So this could actually break four dollars. Let's just look here at the target in this to go. I mean, I'm all out of everything, and I just don't see any reason to be in anything here. Um, well, under 418, under 418, down to 4. I mean, this has a massive uh, move in itself here today, but I guess it could break $4 because under the low of the day, it's only going to be $0.13 cents to 4. This played out very well today. It wasn't whippy. Uh, it, it showed a little spread in the morning, then it tightened up. This actually behaved extremely well. This is what I'm talking about with weakness. This is weakness. The stock doesn't even rally in the five minute chart. The rally even here is like 10, 15 cents. The stock cannot rally at all in the five minute chart. The stock can't rally in the 15 minute chart. The stock can't rally on any of these charts. It's barely, look at the two minute. It's not even rally. And that's why you trade aggressively in the morning. And how can you do that? Because you rate the gap. You go through the rating system. You rate the gap. You rate the gap. If you rate the gap, then you know it's good to take a trade. Otherwise, you can't just take a trade. You can't take a trade in the first five minutes or the ten minutes of the day if you don't if you don't know what to do. If you don't know the gap is good, you have to know the gap is good. You have to have conviction. You have to know to be able to do it. I mean, these things can do anything they want. They can fly all over the place. You have to do the rating. And that gives you the conviction, the conviction to take the trade, to know that it's good to take the aggressive entry and hit it and do it. And like these two trades here, the two trades today, B Core and SREB, if you did not do these aggressive entries in this, you didn't get the trade. You missed the whole move, the whole money move. As soon as you took these trades today, you were up in both of them. I was doing them all at the same time. It was crazy, but it worked out. And my goal today was really, really, really to just get in stuff and out of things quickly because I have a lot of things to do today. And I just want to make the money in the morning, and I really didn't want to hold anything to target. And lo and behold, these two things went both right straight down to the targets. So a really awesome, beautiful, fantastic way to end the week. Good, solid week into a fantastic weekend. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Today is the last day for the Kentucky Derby special. Love the Kentucky Derby. I'm voting for Wicked Strong. I'm going for, for the Derby. That's my pick. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. If you're interested in the Kentucky Derby special, it expires today, today at midnight. You have to email me back the forms and register for the class. It's the early bird special today. You get two months free in the Stock Swish Live Trading Room if you register today. Expires today, no exceptions, none. So don't even ask me, okay? <laughs> Anyways, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com if you'd like more information. And have a fantastic weekend, everybody.